Welcome to my playhouse. This is a moment of victory, but at a very high cost. Many mermaids has died or been turned into statues trying to retrieve this package from the lost city of Atlantis slaughtered by the evil unicorn army. Let's see what they brought me. This is quite awesome actually. So, I have been searching for this for a long time and I've been posting more than one video trying to get around this trick and this is um, a riser card for my IBM 3650s model 2 and 3 I'm not actually sure if this is for the model 2 or for the model 3 I do believe that it's the same thing um, but we're gonna have a look at that otherwise <laughs> this came at a very high price I paid 161 pounds for this bastard which is way more than I should have but well we were trying to get this to work and well then I just had to cough up the cash, so let's go see what it is. And uh, I got this one thanks to a subscriber who pointed me in the right direction. Gave me a link to where I could pick this up. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much, even though it's expensive as hell. Um, it was delivered by DHL and I got it in just a day or something like that, so that was awesome. And it comes, let's just see this because this is an original package for it. Oh, no, for a lot. Um, it, it's the original packet with the IBM number here. Uh, that's about it. Original IBM packets made in China though. And inside, it even comes with the, the piece of paper here from IBM. Awesome. Um, something about CPU though, but uh, not really important something to keep it dry and this is a spare part from 2012 let's get rid of the box this is a riser card and it even comes with the metal and it's a riser card PCI Express 1x16 and these are probably as rare as mermaids or unicorns. This is the only one I've ever seen. It's even really, really hard to get a good picture of these. If you search for these on the Google thing, you will never get a picture of this card. I really should take some pictures just to put up there. This card can go in an IBM 3650 Model 2 or Model 3, and you can put a graphics card or any other card that uses the X16 and you should be good to go and as you might know I have a Nvidia grid card that I'm right now running in an X8 slot just cut out the end of this which I won't do on this one and um, well it's it's kind of working but then again it's not working 100% so I was gonna put the Nvidia grid K1 card in this one and hopefully that will be pretty awesome but I really want to go see if I can put a graphics card in this, so... Well, so here we are. And I'm gonna start by taking out these... Cover-ups. I have a graphics card here. This is my... Uh, it's an old AMD Radeon HD 6950. Um, this is a really nice card. And not for the reasons that you would think. It's, n it's not a good gaming card. It, uh, not any longer, anyway. So will this fit down there? Just gonna try and make it fit. Okay, I think I need to take out this piece of plastic here. Uh, that thing, just have to press that. Oop, put that there. And fit this down here. fits very well. There is some trouble with this specific card. Uh, the first thing is that well, it has two power plugs and the server that we're gonna put it in only has one power plug 
and that would probably give me a lot of problems but let's just see if if this would ever fit down there we're not going to be playing with this i just want to see so i'm bringing you along so here we have the server this is an m3 so it's very similar and as you can see the riser card will go in one of these bays and because of these heat things over here i think there's the biggest chance of it fitting over there so let's try and put it in there take this one out that has a couple of fiber optic and we will need to take this one out as well I've done another server where also put in a graphics card that was too high up here and I don't want to take out all of this plastic so I cut some of the plastic away but right now we just want to see how this goes fits like a charm awesome so that's cool I think we can go and take the NVIDIA grid card out, see if, if we can get the last little bit out of that. I bought an NVIDIA grid card on eBay from Germany and it said all over the auction that it was defective. I took a chance and I bought it anyway. I paid 101 euros for that card. So this riser card is actually, it has been twice as expensive as the grid card was. So. Well, Let's go and uh, do the same thing to my server out there. Before I take out the card of the server, I really need to shut it down. And just to show you what we are trying here, I have the server here. That's the, the physical server where the card is in. And we will check that. I can see that my license is, um, is running out in 11 days. So, well, I have to think about that at some point. Here at configuration we can see that I have passed through the NVIDIA card and there is four processors GPUs on that card but I can only see three of them. One, two, three. So the thought was that maybe the card being sitting in a server with only an x8 slot would um, well make so that one of these wouldn't be working. I think it's highly unlikely. I do believe that the card is broken, but um, I wanted to see this. So we can see right now that three years pass through. So if we are extremely lucky when we put in the X16 card out there, we will see four. But well, let's just cross our fingers on that one. I, I really don't think that's going to be the solution, but let's shut down this server. Shut down guest OS, yes. That's gonna take a second or two. Three, maybe five. Anytime soon. We are waiting out here, you know. If you're following me over at Google Plus here, you would have seen this card arrive a few days ago. Um, so I really encourage you to go and follow me on Google Plus. Here the card is, and here is another solution for a video uh we did where i tried to get a gpu working in an ibm 3850 model 2 and found out that well it's not supported by ibm later so uh, do go follow me on google plus it's a lot easier to show you new stuff over there and you can post things to me as well um, which is not quite as good on youtube See, server is down, so let's shut down the host here. Shut down. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, shut down. Reason? That's okay. And now that is shutting down, let's go to the data center. Server is now blinking right there. That means that it's, um, it is connected to power, but it's not on. So I can go disconnect the cables now. As you can see here, 
I just cut open the slot. The X8, I cut that open. And the grid card is just sticking out down here. So it's not using all of the X16 connection. Um, and that is what we're gonna try and fix today. Awesome. I see that I forgot the little blue thing on the table in the living room. So I'll have to go get that. So let's get this one out. Here is a better view of the open slot up here. So we'll change that to the other one. Let's just see them together here. Might as well just make a good stencil here, right? Let's put that down there, up right there. So you can see the difference. Uh, this one has the two times eight right there and this one has the one x16 slot so we're not going to be using that one we're going to put in this one in but i have to go get the blue thing here is the blue purple thingy and it goes down on this uh, card here to um, to help the grid card and to help the grid card in the far end so cool down there and we're gonna put that in this is so awesome. Mm. I have to bend this just a little bit. There we are. Perfectly attached. So let's put that in. Like that. Again. I'll put the power plug on. Easier right now. Okay, number 15 here is again blinking. I have connected the cables, and that is why it's blinking now. So I can now power it on, and it will be booting. And we should get something on the screen here um, within a little bit. There it is. It will take a bit to boot, so we'll go check the computer when it's done. Okay, the server has booted out there, so um, let's check it out. Configuration. Yeah, it has two processors, advanced settings, and there is absolutely nothing passed through here. That's weird. Hmm. Configure pass through. Oh, there they are. Well, it has lost the pass through after I changed out that card, and there is still only three of them. So. Um, I do believe that the NVIDIA GRID K1 card that I have might be broken. It's, it's missing one GPU. So one out of the four GPUs are broken. Let's do this. Passing those through. And it will want to reboot after that. Uh, no devices passed through, but... I know that the server has to reboot before that will work, so we'll we'll give it a reboot here. Shut down, reboot. Uh, do you want? Yes. Reason? Oh, that's okay. And we'll try and see it when it uh, has booted once more. Okay, server has booted again, so that's awesome. Configuration and advanced settings. And now we have the grid K1 passed through. I will bet that this server has lost it as well. So let's go see if it still has unavailable device. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to remove that and add it again. Add the pass through. That would be a PCI device. Next. And that would be one of these quick things. Yes, we'll just pick that one. Finish. Okay. And we will. Try and boot that machine. There it is. It's booting. Mm, what was this? Server 2016. Okay. 
Okay, that took way too long. And excuse the noise in the background, I am working on the next video as well. Mm, upgrading a Windows 7 right now. Um, but uh, this took way longer than anticipated because I've totally forgotten how this works. Because the grid card here, it takes over the machine. And I couldn't understand why um, I got a black screen when I started this and then it would turn off without my... Well, well I um, I figured that out. So now I'm connecting to it through remote desktop. And in the meanwhile, I was also answering comments. And one of the comments was that, well, we wanted to see if there was a change in, um, in speed, how fast it runs. And I do think that I remember that we did this before. Uh, let's try and run a speed test on this. If I can remember where it's at, it should be here, there. I'll run that one. Minimize some of this. Do, 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 do. Yes. And run the GPU here would be awesome. Yes. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Huh. Okay, uh, I don't think we need to see this. I'll pause this and come back. Okay, it completed. And the CPU. This is a virtual machine and it has four cores, which are virtual cores, so it's not performing nearly as good as it should if it was the whole machine. But uh, this time I'm gonna press the OpenGL instead. See that one running. Thirty point forty one frames per second. And while the CPU was running, I was actually looking in my old video, which I have here, and back then the CPU or the GPU was running thirty point eighty frames per I'm gonna say that that's probably the same thing, so no difference there. I don't see any improvement over the configuration that I did before, so I'm pretty much um just wasted 1600 Danish crowners or or 161 pounds. Yikes! But well, we all got a bit smarter, I hope. Well, so this this didn't fix my Nvidia grid card problem. So the problem is probably the grid card having one broken GPU in there. Too bad. It was rather cheap. Um, I'm afraid a lot of innocent mermaids got hurt because of this um, it didn't do any difference whatsoever on so far as I can see so um, the, the little ninja trick with just opening up the x8 slot is probably the way to go instead of trying to get a very very expensive riser card like this but now I have it so if um, if I need it for some testing further on well I have already done that investment yikes that that was expensive but I hope you learned something you don't need to go get that you can just um, do what I did open up the car and put in the graphics card in there that seems to have been working just as good for me so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again remember to follow me over at Google Plus where I post new things like when I got this um, that was the very first thing I did. I opened up the package and took a picture and posted that on Google Plus. So uh, you're not using that for anything else, right? So um, have a really nice day. Bye bye.